For the assistive technology project, I was able to go into our assistive technology of Alaska's two demonstration rooms that house hundreds of devices. ATLA is a statewide resource that helps individuals find and implement any AT that an individual may require. If you're ever in Anchorage, it is worth scheduling an appointment to check out because as a professional, it is a great community resource for our families that we serve. As you can tell by the video, ATLA goes well beyond education. So let's focus in on some specific examples to utilize in the classroom. The first one is called Notability, and it is an app for the iPad. This app allows you to take notes and then embed pictures or audio files right into the document where it makes sense. This allows a student who might struggle with writing to get the information they need and store it within the context of their lesson. So now we'll have Tori, one of Atlas outreach specialists, show us another note-taking device. Okay. The LifeScribe is a really cool note-taking pen for someone who has a hard time taking notes. As they are recording on the pen, they can write down and just make small things on the smart paper. So if I needed to remember my backpack to school, then I can put a star, remember my backpack, remember my lunchbox, remember my pens and paper. Then I can go to stop. And when I go back to the stars, it'll tell me exactly what I was saying at that time. Well, then I can put a star, remember my backpack, remember my lunchbox, remember my pens and paper. Then... Alright, so we went from really high tech to really low tech here. And what we're looking at is just some opportunities to um, hold a pen differently. Um, and the first and foremost is um, just an enlarged pen grip. Um, a very simple, very cheap solution um, that can kind of have a lot of benefits for a lot of different students at different times. Um, and this is uh, it's free. You can see people will just um, print logos on it and just give it out for, for anybody. But they also um, can kind of be modified in a variety of different ways really cheaply. Um, next is more of... Um, you can kind of see the platform there allows the pen to actually be rested directly on. That way if um, students have a hard time kind of just keeping that hand up, if there's a lot of shaking involved like that, they're able to um, actually put the, the pen directly on and a lot of the pressure can go down and then you're just kind of focusing on the movements. There is, um, this one is kind of nice because there's just enough rocker. You can see um, just enough rocker so you you can pick the pin up without actually lifting the hand. So it's just that rocking ability that lifts the, the pin up and moves it down. Uh, and then the last one, um, this one's kind of nice. Um, it's a little more uh, um, very similar to the blue plastic one, but this one definitely has a lot better feel for a hand. A little bit smaller hand than what I have, but um, the back of the wrist here um, pressing down on that pops it up just enough so the pin itself, if you need to see it with a pin in it, a pin itself um, would actually be lifted up and then down here. And then it almost feels like a mouse in the hand. So. Alright, we have Tori here and she's going to be uh, demonstrating for us how we use the OrCam. And so you can kind of see right there, she has some glasses and there's a camera. And on her ear there is the microphone that doesn't go inside the ear, just right beside the ear. And so, all right, Tori, what are we doing? All right, so the OrCam is basically an OCR, um, but it attaches right to your glasses and then it'll read to you everything that's on the screen. So I can demonstrate it like this. Maybe. All right. So you just point your finger there. Takes a picture, and now it's reading to researching, finding, and applying for funding that will help you GEF the assistive technology. You so that finger pointing is what activates the camera to take like a screenshot of the document that you want read, and then it'll read it right in your ear for you. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we have here is we have the newest in Liftware. Um, so this was the first generation here. Um, and you can see uh, it just is kind of a spoon um, and it's designed to help people that maybe uh, 
need a little help stabilizing um, their uh, their hand while they eat so they don't make quite as mess and so you can see this one has a little bit of a limited um, function just so if you're going back and forth it can kind of help stabilize um, so that's like the first generation and here we have the second one it's um, actually a multi-tool um, so we can just attach the, the spoon to it and that's how you turn it on and off is you attach the the handle there and so you can see now that it's on um, there's rotation um, and so when you go down to rotate and there's also um, compensates for jerking up and down and turning back and, and forth and uh, you can kind of see it's, it's quite a bit of the quick motion involved there. And that concludes a quick tour of ATLA and an in-depth look at five devices you might use in your classroom.